being able to call in my job, um, take care of the ones I love. Um, but really, man, it's just a testament uh, to my teammates. I go out there and just try to bring the energy, play the right way, um, and hope my teammates do a great job of feeding off me. I'm on the floor with a lot of great scores, a lot of guys who draw a lot of attention. So really, it's just about doing the little things to get them open because I've been telling people this a lot, of, a lot of years, man. Not as I tell you, I end up with the ball, man. Once you get those guys open, especially with how well they score the ball, so. Because you, you've been a, a habit of being in the right spot for, for charges at the right time. What do you what do you notice that kind of in your mind says, oh, I can get into this position? Shit, I let the league get charges, man, for about a year. So I, it ain't nothing for a thought process. It's one of the things that I did for a long amount of time, especially when I was playing a good amount of minutes with um, Washington and went over to uh, the Hornets. Um, I led the league in charges. Um, I think it was like me and Kyle Lowry. So it's just about the right basketball play, man, putting your body on the line. Um, you know, I'm not one of the most athletic guys in the world, man. Um, I got a nice size wingspan, but it's a lot of times, man, um, you know, just stepping in, putting your body on the line, being in the right place um, and taking that hit, you know, it, it reached the benefit of, you know, that same thing of getting a block, you know. So you just got to pick and choose of when you feel like you could do it, um, when you can get there and make sure you're in the right position. Um, I had two of them tonight that was blocked, so I thought I was outside the lane. Uh, both of my foot was just right on the line. So it's just about picking and choosing, man, you know, being in the right spot, rotating for your players and make sure that you're paying attention to the floor, really. Can you be like that on a game on both ends of the court? Especially in a game like this one where they they can run at you late, respond back, and win in the overtime. For you to have that kind of impact on both ends, what's that mean for you? Uh, I'm, I'm blessed, man. I'm, I'm still here playing this game of basketball, man. Um, I had a lot of stuff transpiring to take uh, place at the beginning of the season, man. So just to be able to be out here and, and to play this game and still being able to call it my job is a blessing. Um, I don't take any day for granted. Um, it's a lot of the ups, a lot of downs uh, throughout the whole season, man. But I just try to stay even keel, make sure I get my work in and just be a pro. I've been around a lot of great vets in this league for a while, and um, they taught me how to be a pro, uh, whether I'm playing or whether I'm not playing. So. What has started to click for you? The past three, three weeks you've gotten pretty consistent time. Just playing as hard as I can, man. Just doing all the little things that I, that I know I can do. Um, there's nothing no different from any of my other workouts, my regimens, um, any you know other way that I approach the game. You know, I approach the game to play it like it's my last game. I leave it all out there and just play the right way because nine times out of ten, the basketball guys reward that. So I don't try to go out there and try to prove nothing or, you know, let anybody know, hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. No, it's just going out there playing the right way, and you know, good things happen. Really, that's all. That's the only way I know how to play basketball. Doc obviously went back to you in, in crunch time, just to, to be in that closing lineup to play in those like high pressure moments. Just how did that that feel for you tonight? Um, it's not my first time. I've been around Doc for a while now. I've spent a good amount of time with him in the Clippers. I've been in those same type situations when it came down to us having to get stops and having to, you know, create an offense and to win games down there. So. Like I said, I've been in this, this league for a long time, man. This is like my eighth year. I'm hoping to get the, the double-digit numbers and continue to keep going, man. But I don't take any year for you know, for granted, honestly, um, because, you know, anything can happen. Injuries, um, you know, anything outside of the game, man, anything can happen to the point where I, I may not be here, you know, but I'm blessed to be able to lace my shoes up every night, play the game of basketball, and be able to call it my job and take care of my loved ones. So I don't take any of that for granted. With James in the pick and roll, is that kind of just a natural connection, or is that something you guys also have to work on? Um, more more natural, but it's still things that you're going to have to work on. It's different ways that he wants screen and wants to be screened in certain aspects of the floor, different people uh, that's guarding him. But honestly, bro, uh, me, it's easy because, like I said, if I go up there and put myself in position to set a great screen and get him open, Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be the one that gets the ball out of that and be able to have to make a decision that day, whether that's score the ball or make a pass to, you know, a corner guy for a three, man. So, really, it's just about, you know, working in and being in those situations. I'm, you know, constantly doing that with my trainer, Rico Hines, throughout the summer. Um, I play all summer long with, you know, in those situations of, you know, pocket passes and making reads and, you know, different type of reads from there. Um, and honestly, man, I've just been around the league with a lot of great scores. Um, I've been in pick and rolls with Lou Williams. I've been in pick and rolls with Kawhi Leonard. I've been in pick and rolls with LeBron James. Like, it's a lot of great players that I've been in pick and rolls with, man, and every one of them is different. But nothing changes. If I set that screen on them, they draw a lot of attention to the point where, I end up with the ball in my hand, so it's, it's real simple for me. Kind of weird to it, but just the last couple seasons for you have been interesting, to say, to say the least. Just what do you feel like you've learned during this time that kind of leads you to this team, this moment, uh, kind of all that, all that stuff? Honestly, just don't take no day for granted. It's, any day could be taken from you.
anything can happen. Um, you can find yourself in any type of situation, so you don't take it for granted. I'm blessed to be here in my eighth year in the NBA. Um, a lot of guys were killed to be in my position. A lot of guys were killed, were killed to be where I'm at. So I know that coming in. I don't, like I said, take it ever for granted. I get my work in, whether I'm playing, whether I'm not. And I walk in and walk out of this building with a smile on my face. Because at the end of the day, I'm playing a game of basketball to take care of my beautiful family, my kids, my loved ones. So I can't ask for nothing no better. You know, I could go home and have to edit a lot of film like y'all. You know, ain't no telling how long y'all gonna be up editing these films. So <laughs> I get to go home, ice, and you know, sit down and watch, watch a little TV and stuff now. So, like I said, man, I'm blessed, and I don't take any day for granted. Not, not, not really more about the game. You used to being a star in your own. Some people have been willing to come off the bench and throw your career. How much pride do you take in that? Um, a big amount, honestly. Um, I like to, you know, actually choose to come off the bench more so than start because you get to see the game. You get to see how the refs are calling it in the beginning. You'll see if they're calling little ticky tap fouls or, you know, how the floor, the pace of the game is going. And then you get to see where you could go in and impose your will and help the team in any areas that we need help in. So, honestly, I actually like um, coming off the bench a lot more. I actually uh, was able to have to learn that mindset a little bit uh, with, my, with my best friend, Lou Williams. Um, and he's a... Uh, a god at it, man. He's been doing it at this, at this league and at this level for a long amount of time. So just being able to be around somebody like him and listen to the mindset of, you know, how to approach the game, whether it's um, coming off the bench or starting. But like I said, I, I'd rather choose coming off the bench. But like I said, you know, being around him, he taught me a lot of those things to see in the game as opposed to, ah, oh, man, I should be starting. I should be, nah, man, it don't matter, man. The only thing that's different in the starting lineup is when the lights go out, they call your name out. That's it, brother. <laughs> Yeah, because I love this game, man. I love the game of basketball, brother. If, if you know me, Trez plays basketball all summer long, man. Um, when the season's done, no matter how the season went, I take a week off. And after that, I'm right back to my training and right back to playing in all these leagues where I don't get paid to play in. <laughs> I pay my own flights and I go out there and I play the basketball just because it's the love of the game. You know, I love being able to play the game of basketball no matter where it's pick up in the NBA, rec league, my AAU kids, man. I, I just love playing the game, man. Um, I'm blessed to be able to do it. I'm blessed to be able to call it my job. So why not stay around it? You know, why not stick around it? Why not, you know, continue to keep bettering myself and my game, man? Because I can't play this game forever. <laughs> as much as I want to, as much as I would love to play, play it to, you know, I'm done <laughs> on this world, but I can't do that. So I don't take any time for granted. Um, I haven't been on a vacation since I've been in the league. So every summer I literally play basketball. So as you can say, like I said, man, I love the game. Thanks, Tress.